My name is Kim Lopez. I grew up in the Bronx, New York, and I am the chief starter for the truck series. So I'm Eddie, uh, Eddie Traconis. I was born in, uh, actually I was born in Veracruz, in the Gulf of Mexico, but I really grew up in Mexico City, so I call Mexico City my hometown. My name is Pedro Martinez. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and I work at Earnhardt Ganassi as a tire changer. My name is Alba Linette uh, Colon. Uh, you know, like we're using that in America, my whole name is Alba Linette Colon Rodriguez, okay? My title, I am the NASCAR Sprint Car Program Manager, you know, and I work in specifically for Chevrolet. When I started engineering, I discovered cars and my love for cars that I didn't know that I had. I came to different competitions in the United States and in one of those competitions, I was uh, lucky enough to meet these people that work in the racing department of General Motors, you know, and I did the interviews and so on, and that's how I got hired. My uncle has a shop in Jersey where he restored a bunch of old cars, and me, the kid that I am, I used to work very hard in school and everything just so I can go my summer vacations to go work with him on restoring all these old cars. Probably like when I was four or five years old, I think I can remember. So back and then that's the, I was real little, but I always like would go around and when my dad was working on their vehicles and stuff, I would always ask questions and stuff and I just wanted to learn and I was just too little. So I think when I was about 12, 13, I was a little bit taller and I could actually reach over the hood and I started understanding how everything works. That's when the passion just kicked in, really, and I just, I liked it. Yo empecé desde abajo, ¿no? Tuve que ganar respeto, tuve que demostrar que no importa que porque yo era de otro país, digamos, yo no sabía del automovilismo o de NASCAR, tenía que demostrarles que yo, pues, sabía trabajar en los coches, quería aprender. Well, I went through the diversity program, and I started learning change tires, and I just, I liked it, man. It was cool, man. You know, I played sports in high school, and it was just, it's that adrenaline rush that I miss. My parents, when I first, applied to NASCAR and everything else. They were like, okay, a Hispanic female NASCAR. I ended up getting the job and my parents couldn't be any more prouder of me. I've been doing it eight years now and every day, every week, they just look at me like, wow, you actually followed your dreams. My parents never seen a NASCAR race till I told them what I was doing and now they're big fans and now my whole family watches it. They'll even call me like, what channel is it or what card number are you gonna raise? And these days, you know, I have the honor to be crew chief, lead engineer, and being one of the biggest teams with the top drivers working with them and you know, won championships, won races, and, and here I am, loving it. When we are here at the track, the main thing is just to be sure that we provide the technical resources you know, to the teams and that we provide what they need to go and win, and win races. A team consists of six people, a gas man, two tire changers, fronts and backs, two tire carriers also, front and back, and a jack. The average time in a pit stop, four tires, two tanks of gas, is about 12 and a half seconds. It could get faster than that, you know. Family in NASCAR is a big thing. It's like, a, I think the, the, the biggest key there is because on a pit crew, you have six guys and you always work together. You always traveling together and you're seeing the six guys over and over and over. We support that we help each other, you know? And we protect each other, but when we go to race on Saturday or Sunday, I'm sorry, you're not my family anymore. I am here to beat you, so. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's here in Vegas that I actually flagged my first race in 2007. And the most nerve wracking I could ever have been because I didn't know what to expect. I am the first female starter that they ever had in a national series. I think that my father was way more excited than my mother, okay? And once again, it, it has to do with the Hispanic family. My, my mom was expecting that I do a more traditional job, but at, at the end, you know, they were excited. They were excited that I have accomplished a lot of things that I have accomplished, and I am so passionate about it. 